If there's one unit that Arcade 1UP has released probably 3,000 versions of, it has to be Pac-Man. And I have to admit, I'm definitely a victim of having bought a couple different versions of these machines from the party cades to the full size. And at this junction, I recently saw TSC was selling off the Super Pac-Man party cade for relatively cheap like hundred and thirty dollars or so and I was able to even get free shipping with that so in this video I'm gonna go over yet another Pac-Man machine and whether it's worth you looking at and buying yourself so let's take a look you perfect. so to start off if you've been following my channel for a while you can tell I'm a huge fan of the party cades and to be transparent, the main reason I even picked up the Super Pac-Man Party Cade was due to the fact that it had dropped in price significantly. And I was looking at adding something else to my home arcade and just based off of price alone, this made a lot of sense to me. Now the form factor of the Party Cades, I love that I can wall mount them because I have very limited space in my basement. So I myself think the Party Cades are a fantastic addition, especially if you're low on space. Now this one in particular for the Super Pac-Man Party Cade, looks wise, I think just like this generation of these Party Cades, the aesthetics look great. The actual pictures and graphics they use look very, very good. And of course, I love the fact that this also comes with a built-in light-up marquee. Unlike some of the newer generations of the Party Cade, like the NBA Jam one, where you don't even have an option to get a light-up marquee, as I understand. This unit as well also comes standard with dual speakers. So, again, I in my mind, I guess Pac-Man doesn't need high quality double speaker sound, but it's a nice little addition and touch that kind of just speaks to the quality of this generation of party cades. You also have in this machine 10 different games, so you of course have Super Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Pac-Mania, Pac-Land, Mappy, Dig Dug 1 and 2, um, Rompers, you have Rolling Thunder, which is a fantastic game, and New Rally X. Each of these games also have a settings option so you can change things like pixel smoothing and in some of them you can even change speed as well. And so these are nice standard features that seem to be across the board standard from this generation on of the party cades. As well as the joystick on this unit in my opinion feels good. It feels tight enough but it also feels responsive and sensitive. The buttons as well for the few games that you're going to use them on also feel quite good. And I've played through the bulk of the games on this machine just a couple times through and I can report that all of them emulate and play very very well. The other thing as well that I do want to highlight is something I've been checking for since I bought my full-size Pac-Mania cabinet is the monitor. And the monitor on this machine is a BOE. It has great viewing angles from both left and right and head-on. And I'm even considering maybe swapping this monitor out with my Pac-Mania because like, my Pac-Mania in general does get more play. But ultimately, this does look like a fantastic monitor. So... When I add all these things up, it's no secret that I think this generation of the of the party cades kind of reached a peak. Like these are the best versions that I've seen Arcade One Up release, and that's a really good thing because I also own the Street Fighter Two party cade from this generation. I have a review on this channel for that as well, and of course you can see the Miss Pac Man party cade in this video that I also own, and. I think that these are all very well built, they're very well equipped, they have all fantastic standard features, and in my opinion, it's a shame that in more recent times some of the newer party cades have completely fallen off, because this Super Pac-Man party cade, especially at the 130 that I spent, has tremendous, tremendous value. You have a great looking unit, you have a great looking joystick, the buttons feel incredible, the games play really, really well, the monitor is high quality. This to me is, is, is a great product from Arcade 1UP. Now, it's not without issues, it's not perfect, and not every game 
in my mind is one that I'd necessarily care for, but ultimately it has a lot that it does right versus what it does wrong. One thing I would love to see is Arcade 1UP kind of get back to this quality of party arcades and consider actually putting in live features. If you watch my Pac Mania review, I was surprised how much I actually enjoyed having online scoreboards and it's something that keeps me going back to my Pac Mania unit as a result. And I think in that in that vein, this is something that could really flesh out these party arcades and make them more desirable for collectors like myself and other people who are trying to make a decision between a full size or a small size and also considerations of space as well. The only other detractor I have for this cat or for this machine or this wall mounted cabinet, let's call it, is that if you were to buy this in a pair, which I've seen some guys on some of the arcade one-up groups do. Um, there's a lot of overlap between the Miss Pac-Man games and the games on this unit. So that might be a little bit of a detractor for some people because it doesn't really seem like you're getting as much value. But I know when I have friends over and stuff like that, a lot of people kind of cling to the Pac-Man games in general on these machines and they're quite popular that way. But ultimately, I want to say that this is another fantastic party arcade from Arcade 1UP and even if this was more than 130 so it'll probably go back up for like 300 bucks i truly believe that if you seriously want one of these the cost for that even at 300 is you're getting a fantastic product and i think it's definitely worth that so in my opinion if you're in the market for another pac-man unit i know there's a ton of them out there I think that these units, the Super Pac-Man unit, just like the Miss Pac-Man unit, provide tremendous value.